Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys my method of starting out a game and mechanism. Now, I understand that this may be different for some of you. Some of you guys may say, uh, it's kind of not my playstyle or something, but trust me. Every time I've used this, I've won every single game. Like, this strategy has not been defeated. And this is as of the most recent update. I believe it was like February 23rd, and Defaultio still hasn't updated it since then. Well, as of the time that I'm recording this. And I released it maybe like several days later, but yeah. Basically, this is when you still take damage when you're near the... The Iridium Lake down there. And... Submergibles just aren't really that efficient or good anymore. So now the main strategy is using uh, condensers. Because you won't have to like just go down there. It just doesn't take as much time and you can also get much more output from them. So basically what I do is I will build this right here. And then once I have the main loop done, I'm going to put my fabricator about roughly the middle. But not exactly because you want a shield in the middle. So what I usually do is I'll put it about next here, like close to the middle, maybe slightly in the front. Because the fabricator can span a whole base, as long as it's placed roughly near the middle. Like, you don't want it to place in the corner, like, because that's just dumb. You want to get it as close as possible to the center, so that it can get as many condensers as you throw at it. The hardest part of this strategy is starting out, because, like, once you get, like... I believe 8 or 10 condensers built from the fab, you're just gonna go like crazy expansion. So yeah. So I'm just gonna keep filling this fabricator until it's full. This strategy works the best if you have multiple crystals, like big ones in your base. But if you don't, you can always just come here to a, your medium or standard tank or whatever you call that thing and press E on the outlet right here as I'll show you. So at this little circle thingy right here, you'll see like this G, L click and E. Press and hold E until your tank fills up. And that's how you can get Iridium without crystals. So now we're going to continue with this. So basically right here you can see I need some form to go in here. So I'm going to use a T junction here. I'm gonna just leave it like that, that's fine. I'm gonna put this here and connect that. So now as you can see the fabricator is activated. I tend to find a spot that has like a long flat stretch of area, which is back there, so in order to do this, I am going to pull push the crystal so over here. I'm gonna pull it into my portafab and move them away from the area where I'm gonna place my condensers. So right here, I'm just going to dump them all into the tank. And this one should be it. Should be able to grab it all. Or most of it because I can just go condenser along the back. And as you can see, the portafab has quite, no, I mean the regular fabricator has a, quite a bit of range. So now I'm just going to keep laying fabricators around here. I'm gonna grab this crystal. I'm gonna help this out a little so I can grab this crystal and it should be good. I tend to do these in groups of three and you'll see why later. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm not gonna do any more because it just gets annoying. So, now once I got that side done, I'm gonna continue over here with my groups of three. So one, and well that's like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So now we got 18 condensers ready. And this right here you can see it's like already starting to run low. That's not a problem because the reason why I do sets of three is because you have the four-way. So you can just do one four-way at the center set of a three, group of three and hook them up together. And right here I'll do the same thing. And I prefer multiples of nine as well. 
either six or nine because depending on what you do, there's six you can use these T connectors, nine you can use four ways. So basically, at the center group of three, you put another four way and just connect the other sets of three back to the center with regular pipes. This strategy is like super dank or something. I don't know. It's just it's just really good. Like, all the other strategies I've tried, like, fail. Like, they utterly fail. Especially the ones that where you just stay in your base and defend, because... If you always defend, the game will literally go nowhere. And, yeah. So, that's why... I like to build this one, because... You get most of the stuff in your base, and then after here... After I build, like, about all these condensers and stuff, I tend to... Put, uh... What is that? Uh, arc turrets somewhere within the proximity close to the center. That's to defend it from satchel charges. And I also put a shield at the base. And you may be wondering, um... Shields take so much iridium, I can't ever get them to stay constant. Well, because you're only using a well pump. You need more than a well pump to use that. So, yeah. So I'm gonna just tap in here with another four-way... I mean, T-connector. I'm gonna connect that. And I'm going to just pipe this back to the center here. Come on. Oh, okay. I've just split it in half. The, it just really can vary at any time because it, it honestly just depends on your base. Because all the bases and crystals and everything in this map is random. Except for one spawner and one pipe at your base. But still, the locations of those are also random. So now I'm just gonna keep... This right here is actually the slowest part of the whole thing. Because you're just waiting for... You're running really low on Iridium. Like, the D's. And you're just waiting for the fabricator to f fill in all the condensers. And then once you have all the condensers filled in, your Iridium levels are just gonna skyrocket. So, got about 18. I tend to go for like 24 at my main base, so I'm gonna continue building more. You're gonna need a lot of condensers if you actually wanna play this really fast pace and expand. Because this strategy has been undefeated ever since I've implemented it. Before this, you guys will know my shoot down and topple bases with the artillery. If you guys watched some of my previous videos on those, I the artilleries. Especially, yeah, the artilleries use a lot of iridium. It's like 50, I believe, per shot. So, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's... I'll go for 10 there, that's fine. Should be okay. And the reason why you use condensers rather than submergibles is because submergibles take much more time to build, and I believe... Okay, why did I just do that? What What the heck just... What, what was I thinking? Ignore this, okay. I'm gonna have to destroy this T. And put in a four-way. So, four-way. Yep, that's actually a four-way. And... I'm just gonna continue doing this. So now, the fabricators work on that side. I'm just gonna... Add this to my main loop. I don't know why I call it a loop. It's more like a plumbing or like some piping or whatever. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. So now in the middle, same with that side, just put another four-way and you can just connect these. I, I like to do the piping manually and let the, the fabricator handle the big bulky whatever condenser thingamajigs. Yeah. So now right here I can just hopefully tap into this right here. So let me do this real quick. So, T junction, press T, makes the funny T as I call it. But I don't know how you guys call it, and I, it really doesn't matter. As long as you get it, like I'm showing you right here, so. Okay, gonna make a turn right here. I've got a ton of iridium now, it's gonna start. Their levels are gonna go up, like that, right there. So now we're just going to fill in this side, and we should have more than enough for our needs. And you guys might be wondering, if I'm literally just building pipes out to player bases, you might be like, hey, uh, you're going to waste a lot of iridium or stuff. And the reason why I don't build tanks 
at my base is because for safety reasons. Like, if you put your tank setup over right, right there in the middle, like here, I don't know why I'm pointing, I should use this. Like somewhere close to the middle, maybe farther away from your base. There's a less chance that just someone toppling your base would reduce your whole thing, and you can also just valve and cap off that that section, which I used to do, but now I don't because almost everyone that I face plays extremely defensive. And you guys may be also think, talking about like weapons and stuff. I tend to stay away from weapons until like very very late game, because once you start fighting. They're, if your defense is not strong enough, people are gonna just... They're gonna fight you. Trust me, yeah. So... And now the fabricator's filling this all in. You can, hopefully, if I can get this right... Yeah, you can see the tank is actually starting to fill up really quickly. So, right about here... I'm gonna put a shield generator. About here is close enough to the center. Yeah, right about there. And so that means right here, I'm going to turn this into... Um, should I do a T or a 4? I'm going to do two, four, two T's. Let me just do this. Okay, that way. Because I want them both going the same direction. Rather than having some funky, complicated thingamajig loop whatever like mechanism, I don't know mechanism. Now it's called like, seriously we're taking name suggestions or something like that. Now I'm gonna hook this up. This way they're both facing the same way and you won't have to like spend a long amount of time just painfully re-piping stuff. So now I'm gonna turn on the shield. And as you can see my levels are still going up. So about now, once I got my shield on, I tend to put arc turrets like near each critical section of my base. So one over there, one about here, and one back here. I like to evenly distribute them just in case people satchel charge me. Because satchel charges are just annoying. So as you can see, like my, my iridium levels are almost staying constant. Like there's a more than enough supply. And this is about twenty seven to thirty whatever con yeah condensers so you don't even need submergibles now so let me figure out a way to get this working gonna need to do something like this and this and then this we're gonna need an elbow and fill it in and there we go. Some advanced piping right there. Same thing here, we're gonna need to do a T junction about here. Right. Okay, and I'm out of iridium. And you guys you guys maybe also be wondering where I'm doing armory and stuff. That comes later because like I said, you really don't wanna go too offensive early on. Because you run the risk of not having enough iridium to respawn. Which, trust me, I've, I've gone in that situation so many times, it's extremely frustrating. You don't want to be there, so yeah. Don't get weapons way too early in the game. Like, I have to force myself sometimes to not build weapons this early. And now right here, this is a really good spot for a T. About here. And I can do a fine rotate to keep it horizontal. Pipe it to there. And pipe it back there. Now we got some good amount of defense as well. At this point is when I would start expanding outward. So about going to the closest island with like okay amount of resources. By resources I mean like ladders or pipes like the well pipes. Now I can start bridging. And you might be wondering, it's really hard to build in the shield. Just go into first person. It helps a lot. It's right here. The portafab, I mean regular, why, why do I keep saying portafab? Blah. The regular fab has a lot of range. I don't know why I'm saying regulator, it's just called fabricator. So yeah. 
now that I'm expanding, I can put like stuff, well pumps. I'll put one here, let it fill up, and then I'm gonna put spawn point and upgrade station, and then military. All of this stuff, and also yeah, I'm out of I'm out of range of the fab. And when you do that, you just put another fab, and just keep fabricating fabricators as long as you get there. Unless you're, like, crossing the middle section where literally nothing happens. Like, especially this section. If you just want to run a pipe through there, by that time, you should have a maxed out 400 tank capacity on in the upgrader, so it shouldn't matter that much anyway. This island is really good. We've got, like, four or so of these things here. Where can I just put this stuff on. I'm gonna fill this in and just grab that crystal, cause why not? I'm not planning on staying this game after I make this tutorial, so yeah. That may be another episode if I do decide to stay in the game. So now that the fabricator is done, we got a pipe from our main base to here. So that means, let me find a good spot. I'd say this one is pretty good. I'm just going to tap into this. Let me do this. Pipe over there. And pipe to the main bridge. You really don't have to worry about filling in as the fabricator is doing it for you. So that one right there, you don't want to zoom out too much. Or else, shield gets in your way. I have like so much iridium right now. With most people, I see them like their shields are flickering and stuff. So yeah, we fill this in T junction and the pipe. And now we got a second fabricator that's gonna fabricate all that other stuff for us. So when I run it over here, hang on. Out here, and then a four-way T. Yeah, T first, and then a four-way. So I'm gonna run this here. This goes to there. This is like a really, really complicated setup. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna. The reason why I have a spawn pad here is extract here. And then I'm just gonna fill in the armory, and you got your basic early game setup done. Just wait for the upgrader and you can upgrade some more. About right this around this area is where I would build my tanks, maybe back there even. I want it quite far away from my main base. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.